What's up, Helldivers? Welcome to the Salt Divers Podcast Weekend Update. Wow. <laughs> you were really going radio guy today. <laughs> In you today's know. podcast, we're going to be talking about the newest bot major order. Stop. Sorry. Stop. Okay. Uh, what's up, guys? We're going to be talking about the newest bot major order. Uh, we've got some interesting information coming out. I'm finally happy that we're staying on one side for more than freaking one, <laughs> one goddamn I bet mission. You are. Uh, have a I great bet time. you are. Have a great time. Uh, we're going to be highlight- Oh, man. We get the cute bots over and over and over. <laughs> uh, we're also going to be bringing up some um, interesting comments from our last video that actually are are pretty fun and cool and funny. I mean, we're gonna, One was really funny. We're, we're going we're gonna to read viewer comments. Viewer comments. All right. I like reading right. viewer comments. And, of course, the big story of the week is Sony dropping the accidental war bond that is coming up for, I guess, July or maybe August. I don't know. I have no idea. The next war bond, whenever probably it's come out. probably whenever they get off vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be talking about that. The well. August is going to be a big month. We're going to get you know a new yeah. war bond probably. Yeah, we're going to get a new a new uh, social system. Maybe we'll get some God, Xbox players so. to come in. I've heard some some stories is about. That, is X- that popping up again? Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. And it, mm. That would be pretty cool, right? I want to know when that freaking uh, Steam review cape comes out. I don't know. They said it's ready. Probably when the other rest of the planet countries, the rest of the joins planet. us, you know. So <laughs> yeah, probably never. Probably never going to come out. You don't think so? No. I think they're working on it. I think Sony. He's like, I want to wait for the opportune moment to drop that cape. Like, okay, so <laughs> sound, that to me sounds like well, they're working on it. I think that's going to be a while. Maybe, maybe. All right, we got to mm-hmm. get all those little Ugandans. <laughs> yeah, we need the fifteen extra people from freaking the, the seventeen Zimbabwe people from, from Africa <laughs> to come in and play. And, that sounds and, terrible. Why, we shouldn't say it. Well, we shouldn't, but it's just kind of a funny <laughs> joke. Like, how many people are we in a game? How many eh. do we think? Everybody? I don't know. I mean, we got a guy who's in a country that's banned. He still plays. Yeah. And he's one of the best players we've ever seen. Yeah. So maybe we get like, you know. There's ways, there's ways around it. <laughs> like a hundred more of him. But honestly, they they shouldn't have to no, go it's, to it's those, ridiculous those lengths to be able to skirt the system. <laughs> the, idea, bullshit. the idea that Sony is like, yeah, we don't want to sell to half the country or half the world. It's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, like, go make that money. Is China on that list? I don't know. I forgot. It's a huge list. Yeah, I, 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 did, I forgot who. I was need to on go it. back and look at it. But it's yeah, I don't think I don't think we're getting that cape until the other country is out of out of uh, till the Hell Sony Diver, Jail. Helldivers three comes out. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. Helldivers three. Because I would like I would like to wear the cape too. Yeah. I would like to be able to wear the, the t-shirt that we have designed <laughs> without being shamed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Screw the rest of the planet. But yeah. anyway, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, okay. So the newest major order which says, um, please press the advantage to liberate our stolen territory while the automaton defenses are down. If they are able to reconnect their two domains, their defenses will recover immediately. Yeah. We're right in the middle of that. The today's what the twentieth? Is it? All no, it's July nineteenth. No, no, no. Today's yeah, nine nineteen. Is it? Yep, it's nineteenth today. It, it is the nineteenth. Okay, we're uh, as we speak. Charball seven is at seventeen percent liberated. Nice. And Chopesa four is at eight point zero nine one percent liberated. Okay. And um, those goddamn bots, they came over to Mardar Bay. They came over to Space Scotland, dude. I and know. they're trying to take it back. They're trying to stick Scotland. You back. sons of bitches. <laughs> you know. I'm not gonna have it. Is we're winning right now. It was Good. it was really interesting last night because I'm at work. Mm-hmm. Not working. I have I have the Health Divers 2 companion app <laughs> up on my computer, and I have my computer angled to where my boss can't really see what's going on. He's probably watch he's show. probably gonna listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm screwed now. Oh god. But, but I, I kind of had it up in a window and yeah, I just yeah, like yeah. Every once in a while, I would peek over. And it was really cool because of the, the first planet that we liberated, I forget which one was it. Um, it was at like, it was like 90. Mar- Marfark or something? It was like 97%. Oh, okay. This was last night. And I guess there was like 20,000 people out there, right? And so you, I could literally, I was watching it tick up. And I just wanted to see what the webpage would do yeah. when, it, when, it, when it clicked over. Did you see it? And um, yeah, I actually got to watch this go 99.999 to bloop, and then it switched over and then it just disappeared. Nice. I'm like, what What the hell happened there? <laughs> you know, but then what I expected was those 20,000 people, I expected about half of them to go over to Martar Bay. Mm-hmm. And because Mart- Martar Bay was losing at the time, and they had like 6,000 people playing over there. And um, 
it took about an hour, but that 6,000 turned into 13,000. And then all of a sudden it said we were winning. Mm -hmm. And, um, it was, it was an interesting little thing to see. So, so is that the is that the magic point? Is like that ten to twelve thousand range is I, when, when things start getting I, I better. Kinda, I kind of feel that it is right now, yeah. but like right now we're winning, and there's only there's eighty five hundred people over there, you know. So the Hell Divers Two Companion app is actually I've just kind of discovered it because mm -hmm. I've been using another I've been using Hell Divers .io, yeah, which is cool for information too, but this the, the companion app. Is, is, it's you. really I, good yeah, it's it. really cool it's it's like it's like it's animated and yep. has all this information and percentages yeah. and stuff so yeah check that out guys. yeah well you you said helldivers.io i just for whatever reason i just assumed that that was the same thing that we were no. using but you and i were using completely different apps yeah and i was like no go to this one and i yeah. showed you i showed it to you when I we like were editing both. and it was like it's all animated it's got the the trade routes or the mm -hmm. whatever they're called um it's yeah, it's really good. But yeah, but 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 right now uh, things are looking okay over there on the bot side. I don't. I'm a little worried about this major order though because this Matar Bay thing is kind of through a through a twist to it because we only have yeah, a couple of days, mission, right? right? We yeah. only have like two more days. Yeah. And both of these planets are on the backside of where they need to be. Mm -hmm. You know, we everybody needs to just start. We need to go to Matar Bay and knock that out with a quickness, and that we just need to like knock those other two planets out fast because who knows what old joel's got in store he's gonna he might start throwing some stuff at another planet yeah but who knows i love the fact that we're actually following through with a major order though. we're trying to we have a we have a, a major order on bot side to split their defenses we yeah. did that and there is because of because of the pattern of like going bots and bugs and bots and yeah. bugs and flipping flopping back and forth there's i just i just but, assumed that we were going to go back to bugs and yeah, well, that's what we've when, been doing. When this next major order came out, and now we're back, we're still on bot side. We're like, hey, we've just gotten a great victory. Now we're mm -hmm. going to push it. I'm like, thank you. Finally, it makes sense. Well, I kind of look at the bugs as um, just those planets as just big pastures and of, of fields of, of oil. oil. <laughs> you know, we, we, we have them there so we can harvest them. And we, we, need go, to go, back. we go over there. I right, right. go kill 100 million of them. Okay. <laughs> and, it's like, and then let's go back to the real war over on the bot side. But there's still many, there's still too many people over on on killing bucks what's there what's you, right there? You, you know i'm looking there's there's almost three thousand people on crimsica there's almost two thousand on gay crux esker has a thousand you know <laughs> hellmeyer's like eh, 660 you, you know but you know that's <laughs> three five there's like seven thousand people over there that could be over there up there in a in a matter bay right now yeah you know moving that needle quicker yes that's, so that's come always going to be the thing. That's always yeah. going to be a thing. But I, sure. I do not believe and I do not expect to have 100% of the player base doing no. what's needed to be done. There's always going to be people who just log on and just pop in and want to shoot some bugs and they don't pay attention yeah. to anything and they don't care. So you see, like, right. There's, there's always going to be those people. But we need them, man. We need them over there. Because, like, right yeah. now, I mean, this major order was a three day major order for three planets, if I'm remembering correctly. Is that I'd right? have to look. I don't know. I might be wrong. I played but, last night and I had a, I had a great time. Yeah. But I was not paying attention to the analytics behind it. But according to, to the, the site, uh, uh, Charball, Liberation is in four days and Chopesa is in six days. That's too That's too, way too long. Too long. And uh, Martar Bay will be good in five hours. So the other thing too minutes. is the people who are fighting on bot side, we all need <laughs> to congregate on one planet. Yeah, we, we can't yeah. be we can't split our forces up to three different places and just kind of like meander mm -hmm. each one. We've got a freaking that, that's our new word. We got to fight. We got to hyper target, you know, each planet and then go from there. Right. Um, which I don't know. For the most part, like if I'm not super paying attention to what's going on on the on the app, um. I will go onto the game and I will find the planet that has the most people on it mm -hmm. and I'll jump in there. Just it's like a like, oh, okay, that must be where we need to be. Yeah. If that's right or not, I don't know. It might be wrong. Maybe I'm playing it incorrectly. Right. That's kind of what I do. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm super happy to see that we're actually pushing um for victory more than just one yeah. major order and then leaving yeah. and then letting those same plans get taken I'm, over again. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping since it's, 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 it's Friday morning right now, mm -hmm. we're going into the weekend. I, I'm, I'm sure there will be more people be a diving in. There'll be, there's going to be, it will spike up here as we yeah. get through, go through the day. Yeah. So I hope so as well. All right, you guys Let's take it to them guys. Let's go. You want to talk about some, uh, some viewer comments and load out of the week. Um, you, well, you're, Actually, you're, so you're, you're, you're going way too fast. Am I? Yeah, we didn't talk about the Sony leak. Well, that's we're gonna save that for last. You want to save that for last? Gotta save that for last. Got to get those people oh. interested. Well, gotta, you need to like 
tell me what the order you want to do things. You know what I mean? We got to so. get those people watch that watch time. You know, All we, right. need, we need that percentage up. So you want to people do, stay watching. We're going to talk about the Sony leak. We, we, we want to do viewer comments. It's a 30 minute podcast, guys. How, uh, come, on, come, on, <laughs> we, come on, come on. Viewer comments. Viewer comments. Viewer comments. <laughs> Big flashy <laughs> letters on there. We can do that. So, so first off, before we do that, yeah. I want to just thank everybody. Mm. Oh, because, yeah, for sure. Because um, every time we release one of these episodes, our numbers get a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And um, for, for, you know, we've been doing this podcast stuff for a long time, and it's nice to have people actually listen and see our stuff. <laughs> yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know we what I'm another, saying? We have a different <laughs> channel. That and it, and has, people, people watch it. Of course. Of but course. It, but it's, it creeps. Yeah. Like, we get a couple hundred views per show, maybe. <laughs> And then we do this Hell Divers podcast, and we get thousands upon thousands, yeah, and hundreds of comments. It's it's a completely different world. So thank you. The Hell Divers community is absolutely incredible. The yes. gaming community is really freaking cool. And you guys are not afraid to tell us that we're stupid in the comments. That's right. That's right. And you're making me try to. You're making me actually try to be a little bit smarter because usually I'm just a dumb smartass. And, and you know, it's it's just fine. That's yeah. kind of my thing. But. Um, so you're making me think about a few things once in a while. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. So I'm, I want to talk about the comments on our last podcast. We talked about the airships and mm -hmm. how they're just freaking ludicrously difficult so and at they times. Kind of are, and they can be if you let them get away mm -hmm. from you. They can be, but because of the comments uh, of our last podcast, I actually took take some of the tactics from the people that were commenting mm -hmm. and I used them. And oh my god, did it make a difference? Oh yeah, holy cow! Yeah. So I just want to go through some of these ones. I'll read the first one. I'll let you get the next one. All right. Um, the comment from horror fan one one seven. Yeah, I gotta put my glasses on because. All um, right. Okay. I see a lot of people haven't been experimenting with the rocket sentry. It chews through gunships. Can confirm. Yeah. Can confirm. Yes. I, I was like, oh, that's interesting. I actually, I don't. I can probably count on one hand how many times I've used the rocket sentry. Let me take it like, with me. Who brings sentries on? On like planet side missions, yeah. Unless, yeah, it's, unless, it's, like a, unless it's like a, a, a defense mission, yeah. Uh, so. so I'm <laughs> unless it's a king of the hill or a defense mission, I don't ever bring sentries, right? But now because of this, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me try that. And god damn, did it work? So I'm like, you know, we're hoofing it, and we have this patrol, and we're fighting, and of course it attracts their attention. So mm -hmm. Now we got four gunships on me. <laughs> Throw that freaking thing down. <laughs> I'm handling the little guys on the <laughs> on the ground, the devastators and whatnot. And this freaking rocket sentry is just and it fires quick too. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. I was it's very impressed. So shout out to Horror Fan 117. Thank you for that. Because you saved my ass and your, you helped me completely. Your submission. style has changed up a little bit because I hadn't played with you for about a week. Mm -hmm. And we I jumped on last night after you were like stealing my crew for, for this for the stream. <laughs> yeah. You, you pissed me off by <laughs> I can tell you were so mad at me. And uh um <laughs> It, but that's fine. But uh, all of a sudden, we're playing and we're we're doing the you know go get the dirt samples and stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm so over that mission. Um, we need more mission types, guys. We need more mission types. But um, um, all of a sudden, you, you throw this thing down on the ground and the and the dome bubble comes up and I'm like, what the, what the hell is this thing? I never even played with anybody <laughs> that ever uses it before. And um, I'm like, oh, this is new. So you got shield bubbles and you got rocket sentries and i'm yeah. like man you've totally changed the way you I, do i had stuff. to man i had to adjust <laughs> my play style because i was i've been going in and i've been trying to experiment with the new commando and mm -hmm. you know rocket launchers and having a good time but i get my ass kicked way too much yeah and it started pissing me off and but, i'm like okay time to change it up yeah yeah and i get it especially because i was i was at, with that loadout specifically mm -hmm. i want and i want to um, God, I wish I could find the comment. It got buried. There's like over 250 comments on this video. Yeah. So I apologize to the person that gave me this idea because um, I could not find it again. But they said pack a century and the shield bubble, especially for the mm -hmm. duplexes. Remember right. we're talking about duplexes mm -hmm. and how hard they are to take out because they always shoot the freaking hell, hell bomb. We're talking about the uh, fabricators, the, the, fabricators. the gunships. Yeah, the yeah. airship fabricator. Dupli the gunship fabricator. Du du duplexes are kind of our our vernacular i guess yeah. is it sticking is it working i like it it's a duplex it makes yeah. sense um so i on a solo mission level six solo which for me is about as high as i can go by myself it's a team game i i know but i'm just saying <laughs> solo level six going in i find a duplex i run right up to it i throw the shield down i throw the hell bomb down mm -hmm. and this, these things are shooting me all over the place and i just take my time nice. arming it 
and then I bolt out of there, and that thing blows up, and the airships can't kill it because the shield bubble's there. So it was just like this freaking like light bulb moment. Like, right. why did I not think of this before? This is so dumb. I feel so stupid right now yeah. that I've never used this before because it's fucking genius. Yeah, I I, uh, I feel the same way about pretty much everything that's available for us to use because <laughs> I, I tunnel vision, yeah. and I use the same loadout <laughs> every single time. Yeah. So last night, I was, like, trying to just do different. Like, I, I brought a gas bomb last night. You did. I was you very, killed me with it, too. I was very gassy, <laughs> and, and um, I'm not very good with it. I don't know what, but it's, it's kind of fun to put throw new different <laughs> sure, things yeah, down, yeah. down there. You know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get away from being so reliant on my laser dog, mm. my rover, you know, because he kills everything indiscriminately. But you guys are much better now at dodging. So, you know. <laughs> I think they've improved the AI on the laser dog. <laughs> um, but, yeah, shout out to whoever that was. If I can horror, find horror the Horror fan. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about horror fan 117. But. Well, him, yes. as Her, whoever. Horror fan 117, yes. Thank you for that. And also the person. Uh, I will try and find the comment before I edit this podcast. But. Uh, who suggested the uh, the shield bubble? Game changer for me. All right. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to change things up. I also wear the medic armor now because you get six stims and it you know it improves your, your you know, the length that your stim works and and shit. Like I'm just trying to change up my style because I got into a rut and I got into like my go to armament uh -huh. and uh, I'm like you know what I need to I need to make some adjustments and it worked it worked really well. Go ahead, you got another one? Well, I was gonna skip to the next one, but yep. I put horror fans on there twice. You did. Um, so I'm going to go to the next. We're going to save the second one there. Yeah. Till last. Gotcha. Um, Mapper 2. If you got a tactical <laughs> team, they're a cakewalk. But if you have a bunch of Leroy Jenkins, well, that's self-explanatory. True. True. That was a funny one. I, I laughed I, out loud when I read yeah, that my, comment. Yeah, my reply was, um, but does he have chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that joke. You know, well, that, you got to watch the Leroy Jenkins video oh, World okay. of Warcraft. Okay. Because he goes in there and he, they all die. And the last thing he says is, at least I got chicken. Hmm. So it's like he's just eating some fried chicken while he's nice. eating it's, it's kind of funny. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, man, um, he's right. You got you to kind of try to play as a team. You got to squat up. You got to squat up and everybody play a little bit of a role. You, yeah. you, you know, I'm still trying to, to learn to how to do that a little bit. You know, I noticed that our crew, um, we all have we have all our guys that like to go out and, and, and just go – insane and, and go get all the stuff done but like last night you know there was three of us kind of hanging out together yeah and and we would take the, the brunt of the of the of the of the ground troops and you would go out and try to mop up the secondaries as much as you could yes but you wouldn't get too far away no no i stay close so so and yeah I, like so this is a an example um that happened last night you guys there had just been way too much attention drawn to one single area. Mm -hmm. It was like, we took out a base. It was like a medium sized bot base right. and we took it out, but they had a massive, they started city of robots in there. Yeah. They started crazy. calling in drop shit. It was like mm -hmm. crazy. And I'm like, okay, those guys are handling that. Mm -hmm. But like literally a hundred meters away, yeah. there's a secondary. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, they've got that handled. I threw my sentry down to help you guys out. Yep. And I bolted over to the secondary, knocked it out. On my way back, I hit a single base that was just like by itself sitting there. I, just, yeah. I threw an eagle at that and took that out. And then I met back up with you guys. And then we moved on to the launch the nuke area. So it was like, it's like, yeah, you have to use your tactics. You have to yep. see what your team's doing. I, am I going to be more useful doing that? Or should I just go knock out the objective so we can get the hell out of here? Right. Because the whole reason why we were there fighting was because we wanted to get to that one objective. And I'm like, but if they're distracted, I can go sneak over. Then you're all. Did you guys get that base knocked out yet? <laughs> Need me to come help you? <laughs> it's like, shut up. <laughs> the smack talk is real. Dude. Oh, God. It's so fun. You were a little snarky last night. You were a little snarky I last night. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I need you to get better. <laughs> that, that pissed you off. <laughs> oh, I was so mad at you. Because I'm, I'm a terrible player. Oh. <laughs> it's like, your gas bomb killed me. It's like, well, get out of the way. <laughs> well, no, it's like. So, you so, see the light come down. So that we means move your ass. <laughs> we were in the area. We were in the area where they had the codes. You have to go pick up the launch codes, which is super simple because you just run up to it and pick it up. Yeah, but it was infested with bots. And I'm like. I could just get in there and go get it. So I'm booking it. <laughs> I'm just going to go pick up the launch codes. And Green as, soon, as soon as I get there, I see a freaking red beam. It goes, <laughs> just farts on me and I die. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I didn't see you there, but you know, it's all good. All right. We ended up winning. It's, it's okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see. The next comment, this is actually pretty funny too. And uh, I don't know if this is sarcasm or not. Uh, from, what is this name? 
Sir Nukalot. Sir Nukalot. I love that name. Yeah. Sir Nukalot 84. Man, I love Helldivers 2. It's amazing. <laughs> Just discovered it this year. Yeah. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> <laughs> me as well. <laughs> In like February, right? <laughs> yeah, like from February. <laughs> I just, 2024 just is hell of a year. It myself. <laughs> In the same boat as you, man. Yeah, uh, you know, honestly though, I I had never heard of Hell Divers before this game. And there was and there's a whole other game. Yeah, there's a first game. Hell Divers one. I own it now. I do too. I bought it for I 4.99. I, yeah, I bought it for the sale. <laughs> Steam sale. They probably sold a ton of them. Probably. And I haven't even turned it on yet. I have it. I, I it's just I, I have. Maybe we should do a retro gaming stream. <laughs> How much can we suck at the original game? That, that's that's like a like retro hell divers. We'll have to do that someday. That'd be fun. That yeah. might be fun to do. Okay. And uh, we'll, last one. Yeah, the last comment here uh, from Timmy O'Toole six six six. Can you guys get this on Apple Podcast, please? Smiley face. Um, the answer is um, probably yes, right? I think we can get this on Apple, Apple, and yep. I think we can get this also um, on Spotify. So, if, if the audience wants it, that's right. That's what they get. So, Our uh, other shows are there, and um, there's no reason we haven't. Well, there was a reason we didn't put this on there at first. We want to see if we could get an audience. Yeah, and we clearly are getting an audience. Yeah. So why not? Why not? Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a couple extra steps when we upload things, um, but it's the same video. I have no problem doing that. I can just set up a quick account. Yeah, and uh, we'll we'll get an RSS feed and we'll send it out. It'll probably be on video on Spotify as well. Yep. Apple obviously doesn't have video, but it'll it'll by default go also there on the audio. Yeah, side. so and yeah, we'll a, we'll start spreading our wings a little bit and getting our name out there. Blessed by our by our all knowing and Don't knowledgeable. Me producer yeah he goes yeah you guys should probably do that it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's good, good i don't want to listen i support rumble and they do, <laughs> but god damn it they need to make their shit rumble easier. i i do but i really wish rumble was a little more user friendly yeah 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 they're 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 still a couple years behind so yeah okay yeah. uh is that it for for comments so yeah okay so we just made a big announcement we're yeah. going to be going to apple apple, apple and, and, spotify. and spotify look for us there uh, soon. Yep. I'll make an announcement on uh, the socials when that happens. Okay. Probably for uh, this. Probably maybe. I don't. I don't. I. I, I can't say when, but it's going to happen. It, it'll be within the week or so. We'll see for sure. Um, I do want to say loadout of the week is dedicated and inspired by the comment section of our last video. Uh, what I rolled out with was the auto cannon. Of course, it's everybody's favorite. Uh, the shield. The bubble shield. Mm -hmm. the, you know the big one, and the, then the rocket sentry, and then your whatever the fourth one is that you want to pick pick roll with that um i usually use the eagle airstrike or mm -hmm. uh orbital precision strike one of the two it depends on if i'm going to be solo or if i'm with a squad if i'm with a squad i do the eagle if i'm solo i do the orbital because i need something to take out hulks and if you want to pair that up with a stun grenade if a hulk comes running at you you stun that sucker and then you throw the ops down and pff, done huh. and it takes like three seconds no no worries there uh, and then, of course, for my primary, I usually roll with the sickle. And then your armor of choice. Uh, lately, I've been messing around with the medic armor. You get the extra stims, a little bit of, of an extra boost. Mm -hmm. Helps you out when you're by yourself. So it's a good solo build, but it's also a really good support roll as well. Nice. Uh, let's you gonna, see. Are you going to put that in the show notes? I will put that. Why in the show notes? We just said it. I mean, are you going to like? I'll edit that in. Yeah. I yeah. got footage. Okay. I got footage. I got footage of a lot of stuff. I got footage of a lot of stuff this week. All right. Last thing on the line, guys. Last uh, 10 minutes or so of the podcast, we're going to be talking about the Sony leaks. Sony has leaked the next war bond. <laughs> Freedom's flame. About time. You know what's funny is like we've been, how long have we been talking about like, oh man, I really, I, I want them to build us a freaking flame armor and flame this <laughs> like, and flame that. They already had it in the can. They already, I guarantee you they already had this in the can. They just hadn't rolled it out yet. I love the, 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 so we went to the, I got the games radar article thrown up here. Uh -huh. Sony apparently can't stop leaking Helldivers <laughs> 2 updates. New Warbond Freedom's Flame with fiery weapons and cool capes spotted on the PS5. Yeah. Um, man, if we don't get a little bit of fire resistance out of this, I'm going to be upset. Well, they have to. Because basically this stuff is basically all cosmetic, right? That's kind of what these, you know, we get a few new guns and stuff in there, which are basically just, you know, 
overlays of older guns with a slightly different, slightly different <laughs> output or yeah. something of something. Yeah, the Liberator penetrator and the liberator this it's like and the you know liberator it's, like, that. it's like I, I keep going back to the to the snow themed one what with polar whatever polar patriot it's like can we at least not get some you know cleats on our shoes they have cleats on the shoes they just <laughs> don't work? fucking do anything that work you know uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that was so that's, frustrating that's the kind of stuff that I would, they need to put in these war bonds is give us you know you, you know if, if we don't get like a 20 percent fire resistance Oh, yeah. or, or something for when we get blasted well, look, by those flamer hulks. We have the armor that is 50% re reduction in explosive, mm -hmm. explosive damage, right? And right. I, I wear that shit all the time. Yeah. That's clutch. They need to have a 50% fire reduction. Sure. They need to. Absolutely. And then with the Snow Planet ones, I don't know why they didn't say, okay, if you wear this specific armor we can on a Snow Planet, you don't slip on ice. We move a little faster and, and through you, the blizzard. You move faster through the blizzard. <laughs> I'm like, that's all it would be. Yeah, like, that's all we want. That's all, that's we, all want. we need. That's all we need. It's a little extra help, man. So if they have this fiery weapon, you know, freedom's flame. I just, I got this, I just got this image in my head when I read this. And it's kind of, you're going to have to be a professional wrestling fan to understand. But I just got a, I just got this picture of a bunch of tail divers running around in armor that looks like we ripped it off from Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. You're gonna have to pull that up. Cause, oh cause, God! Because it's because it's gonna be it's, it, and and you know <laughs> it was a bunch of flamethrowers. We're all gonna be killing ourselves left and right because you know we'll see. I, I I can't not help but at least. My brother in Christ, they, they my brother, <laughs> my brother, my in brother Christ. in Christ, my brother, my real life brother, yeah. and our friend Christ. Yeah. They both like to bring flamethrowers sometime, mm -hmm. right? And I always die at least two or three times every time they do because they're just insane. So you 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 you, you throw fire into the mix and um, it's bad. It's a bad thing. I, it's and if we're all running around with brand new flamethrowers and they're launching flames out of the sky with you know new flame eagles or some shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just ah, we're, we're, we, we might as well just go to Hellmire and, and just. Oh, uh, did you? I saw a video somewhere. I don't know if it was on social media on YouTube, um, where somebody went to Hellmire and they could stop. They, well, they were just shooting the, the they, they were shooting the the fire tornadoes and they were going away. I'll have to try this. Uh, you saw it too? I did. So I'm not crazy. No, you're not crazy. Okay. It was some random video. I it was saw like on fight fire with fire or something yeah. like that, right? Maybe, and they put it out. Maybe it's true. I don't maybe, know. Ugh, that's awesome. Yeah. If it's true, I haven't tested it though, because fuck that. I'm sure somebody's tested it. Let us know in the comments. Can yeah. you can you shoot the hellfire tornadoes? Yeah, man. So uh good stuff. I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh I, again, I want the war bonds to actually mean something. I want there to be a purpose. So mm -hmm. I want fire resistant armor and for the snow ones i want <laughs> snow resistant armor the viper commando is more cosmetic than anything yeah i, I still like it a, a good like maybe a maybe a reduction in in because you have camouflage on basically you're yeah. wearing like camoed out stuff so i think you should be le less easy to I just see. want a bunch of flames on my armor oh, you, you, you know you know that you know that everybody knows that kid in school who wrote that made flames all over their oh, notebooks yeah, and stuff. Yeah, with the, with the cool S, you know? You know, with the, the squigglies and, you uh -huh, know? Yeah. And he's like, oh, this would be really cool looking on a car. Or, uh -huh. you know, you know like that that flames. guy got hired in the art department at Arrowhead. And he goes, hey, man, we're going to make flames. We're going to put flames all over the armor. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have flame shoulder pads, flame helmet, flame pants. You have a flame cod piece. You know, <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. And so oh, man, you know fire what I everywhere. Want? Fire, fire. I want a freaking fire. armor that is, is like, looks like you're wrapped in aluminum foil. It's just, just oh, you shiny. Want, you want like the, the uh, firefighters. Yes. Yeah, so we'll be running around with fire helmet with a fire helmet, with fireman with the visor <laughs> in the front. It just looked goofy as shit. <laughs> I kind of want it. I kind of uh, want to do that. Yeah, get down. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's pretty much all we have for today. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they have for weapons as well. I feel like they kind of blew their load on the fire weapons. We got the flamethrower already. We got the incendiary shotgun. So, like, what else do you yeah. think they're gonna do? Maybe a maybe a flame throwing grenade launcher, skunk skunk, and it like it Ooh, does yeah. the uh, in, um, you can put flames on anything, you know. It's, you yeah, I guess you suppose you could. <laughs> you could do incendiary sniper rifles or something yeah. like that. Catches them on fire. Oh, you know what we need though? We do need we need the freaking predator minigun backpack combo. Okay, I want a heavy gunner. Sure, I don't know when that's coming down the pipeline. I want but... vehicles. <sighs> Do you think vehicles will change the gameplay too much, though? No. Because part of the difficulty of the missions is getting from, okay, we just got that last mission done. 
We've activated this I, massive I, I spawn, and you, now we got to run 400 meters to the extraction point. Get on a get on a bike. Get on a buggy. And with get a, there with, in with, with a sidecar. Let's go. <laughs> bike with a sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> vehicles yeah we got to make the maps bigger then make the maps bigger yeah let's get us some more people on our squads let's do Let, six-man oh, squad uh, i gave some thought into the urban urban place uh-huh. okay i don't think that they don't already have all the assets they need to do this probably not because we've got the science lab places that we have to blow up mm-hmm. we've got little buildings here and there they've got building assets that they can use just put those suckers in a freaking row on a grid and call it yeah you know new town city or whatever the fuck and we get to go in there and we get to kill everything. And we get to, you know, the buildings blow up. If we hit them with something, they blow sure. up. So we could lay waste the entire city. Make it look like downtown Baghdad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth just, bomb. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> just carpet bomb the whole place. Yeah. Uh, there was a leaked carpet bomb uh, armament. Did you see that? I did not. Because so Palestad mentioned on Twitter, this was a couple weeks ago. Um, that they somebody said they wanted like a massive heavy bomber. Oh, the bomber! Yes, the I bomber have seen thing. the bomber. So yeah. I've seen footage of what the stratagem will look oh like. My God, they, they were like way, way off in the distance on a high ground. Is it? it and it, it was just it just laid waste to the entire friggin' area. Well, it's got to be something that we can bring in without throwing a ball, right? I mean, yeah. I suppose we gonna, that's a good idea. That's that's a good point. <laughs> Maybe a laser guided one. Maybe yeah. So you have because I know they have a laser guided nuke in the works uh-huh. that you're supposed to be able to like point the laser to yeah. it and it launches it and shoots it. So maybe the laser guided bomber, where you go up there and you're like you're looking at a at a large um, outpost or or something like that, sure. and you just freaking laser point it and then just. It'd be super fun. Yeah, it'd be down. I have uh, one more question before we get out of here, and I'm going to bring this to the community. Okay, that's down there on the bottom of the notes. Um, it's, it, I don't see this a ton, but it seems like when we when we shoot the uh, drop ships out of the sky over on bot side, yeah, the, the minions rise from the the fire and they start chasing you, right? Sure. Um, or the Hulk, or the Hulk. Doesn't but, doesn't it make sense that if you shoot one of those gunships or one of those drop ships out of the sky, that the things that they're that they that they have attached to the bottom of them that they're bringing in, yeah, they should die too, especially. If it's full of, you know, lower level. Like low troops. Like yeah. troops yeah. and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's very fair. I wanted to ask the community, do, do you, should the load of the drop ship you shoot down be destroyed when the ship is blown out of the sky? So. It's a fair question. I, I think they should, personally. Because it's, it's a big boom when they land, man. Then that thing, it, sometimes it's, it's crazy. Yeah. So I, I think um, for the lower level guys, sure. I think yeah. If a Hulk makes it, you know, okay, whatever. Should be at least, you know, wounded. Yeah, damaged right? or something. Yeah. Shouldn't, shouldn't um, take the whole Because the, the bigger issue that I find is that when you do do that and they do survive, mm-hmm. there's a fucking devastator sitting inside the wreckage of the crash right. that you can't shoot because right. it's inside the wreckage, but it can shoot you. And it's all, da, 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 da. Because it's, like, all, ah. it's like clipped out. It, it can, st- it can <laughs> right. still shoot you, right. but you can't shoot back. Mm-hmm. That I would rather, I mean, I'd, I'd like to see them fix that, but it's a, it's a minor issue. I think I'll, sometimes I'll shoot down a, a drop ship. I'll get four or five kills out of it. Mm-hmm. it just it, It's kind of like a weird, you know, it depends. Is it a glitch? Is it a bug? Is this, is this stuff supposed to die? It just doesn't? I don't know. And I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. I'm not going to bother. I don't know how they would even how they code this stuff. It's coding is foreign language. I don't care. I just, just make it work. Just make it work. Make it work, computer nerds. Let's go. So Master computer nerd. Okay. All right, man. That's it. That's been a 30-minute podcast for the really? weekend we- update. Yep, that's it, man. All right. All right. Well, happy diving this weekend, guys. Um, Really do appreciate the uh, comments and the inspiration on our last video. Appreciate it. Try not to sound too sarcastic about how badly we play this game. (laughs) (laughs) And some of you guys are really angry. (laughs) You freaking learned to play, Leroy Jenkins. (laughs) It's like, like, (laughs) ah. Sorry, man. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. I suck. (laughs) Um, no, we have a good time playing the game. And if you would like to join up, go to saltinerdiscord.com. We have a lot of really cool players over there that play all times, all whenever, yeah. everywhere, across the you'll, globe. You'll find some people to play with over you'll there. You'll definitely sure. find some people. And I found out recently that we have like six level 150s in our Really? Group. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. Need, they need to speak somebody, up. Somebody spouted off something like, hey, just so everybody knows I'm 150. And then like four other people were like, yeah, me too. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> we got a lot of freaking heavy like, hitters. Though. That's that's insane because, yeah. you know, we know a guy who plays a lot. 
And he's like one one twenty four. Yeah. Well, he just hit. I think he's one twenty six or seven. Is he okay? But yeah, but yeah. So being one fifty and having been that it, be, for it a reminds while. it reminds me to non sarcastically tell everybody in the most friendly and way possible. Please remember to go touch some grass once in a while. <laughs> it's very important. It's for your mental health. It's for your mental health. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, on that generous note, thank you all so much for watching the video. Have a great weekend. Stay salty. We'll see you next time.